is your kid suddenly showing these signs? A child who is otherwise quite social, friendly and amicable is suddenly showing signs such as being a loner, showing aggressive behavior, whining a lot and uh, bragging a lot, pulling someone else down. And if you say that this new pattern of behavior is actually becoming more consistent, then there is a high probability that probably your child is having low self-esteem and not feeling good enough about himself or herself. Hello, everyone. I'm Supriya Raja, and I have been in the field of special education for more than 12 years. Now, I'm also the founder of the Empowered Parenting Hub. Well, coming back to this video, as a parent, yes, we want our child to feel good. We want our child to have a balanced um, you know, childhood and be very happy and confident. Yes, all of us want that. But there may be periods in their time when your child may not be feeling all that great about you know, himself or herself. And so, yes, you can actually watch out for these signs, like I said before. The first sign would be if a sudden change of behavior is happening, that is if your child who has been otherwise friendly, but now is preferring to be alone, not because he or she is happy to be alone, but she's sad. He or she is feeling like nobody likes her or like, no, say these statements like, no one is liking me. Nobody wants to be with me. I hate them. Even the teacher is favoring others than to me. I prefer being alone. I don't want even be, to be seen. I'd rather just stay alone in my room and not go out of the house. All these kind of, you know, statements are being coming out of your child. That could be the first sign. That could be one of the signs. The another sign that you can watch out for is that a sudden show of aggression, right? Now, because aggressive behavior generally stems out from the feeling of not feeling good enough, that I'm not good enough. There's some sense of inadequacy, okay? So this is kind of a cover-up. It's kind of like, you know, trying to overcome that feeling of inadequacy and not feeling good enough by trying to control another child. When you when the child is when your child is trying to control the child, somewhere the, the child's ego feels good. Like, yes, I'm more stronger, I'm more powerful. So now I feel good about myself. So I can push someone down or pull someone down and then feel good about myself. So this could be one of another sign that your child is probably facing or you know, feeling low or not very good about them, himself or herself. The next sign that you can watch out for is sudden show of becoming a sudden show of and excessively bragging about oneself. Well, let me add a disclaimer here is that children usually from the age of three to seven years, eight years do show off or brag once in a while, especially when they have got a new toy or the teacher has given them a new sticker. It is natural kind of behavior. But if you see that the bragging or the showing off is excessive, okay, and to the intent of putting others down and is again very becoming like a pattern of a new pattern of behavior then that is something you will have to watch out for that something is not quite right here the other sign that you can definitely pay attention to if your child is suddenly becoming very very whiny complaining all the time i don't like this nobody likes me in school i don't like the teacher is only liking that child the teacher is not giving me a good the teacher is only putting good for other children and when i'm raising my hands the teacher is not calling me out nobody wants to talk to me when i want to play they don't come to my house all these kind of complaining you know statements will come and again, if you feel that, you know, this is becoming too much, then yes, you'll have to address it. See, the thing is, all these behavior patterns exist even in children who have a balanced and a more healthy attitude towards oneself. I don't say that a child who is having a balanced, uh, you know, thought form is not going to exhibit all these behavior that I enlisted just now. Children do from time to time either they will show signs of being whiny or, you know, complaining and showing sometimes aggressive behavior. Those things are there and it is a part of growing up. But when these behaviors are becoming too much, like, you know, it's becoming like excessive. Okay. And it is like with the intent of putting somebody else down, then you know that the child is actually in a way calling for help. The child is not feeling good in, and he or she is just trying to cover up, trying to, you know, um, Overcome the feelings of inadequacies by putting other kids down, asking for attention, all those things. So that's when you will have to step in and 
what you need to do is first listen to your child right the first step that you can do is listen to your child what's going on here obviously a child is not going to say i'm feeling low self esteem no a child of that age do not have that capacity or that you know ability to think and analyze and say you i'm i'm uh, that i am having these issues but they it will always manifest in you know statements like nobody likes me that i'm not having any friend the only friend i had left the city or i'm feeling very lonely nobody talks to me nobody wants to play with me i feel like i'm a loser or i'm not good enough i'm or maybe i'm not able to study like other children i'm not able to read like other children or maybe i'm not able to run like other children i'm bad in athletics i'm not able to um, you know win the 100 meter race it could be many things so you can always give a very patient and a calm hearing to your child so that you know what is happening at least you will get some kind of signs by listening and paying attention and being observant of your child the second thing that you can definitely do is yes tell your child yes maybe you have these you maybe probably your 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 friends are not being very nice to you which is wrong they should be nice to you maybe you are feeling that you know you're not really good in reading complete com compared to other children but let me tell you you are very good in singing or you are very good in dancing or you have a very wonderful handwriting so basically trying to shift the child's perspective and thought and the attention from only the negative aspect of their life to the positive aspects of themselves right at least start shifting their you know attention to what good what are the good things that they have or what, where they are good you know so they then start feel oh maybe i'm not maybe i'm slow in reading but then i have a great handwriting maybe i'm slow in writing but i am good in running i'm i come first in running so they are able to then look at themselves in a more balanced perspective rather than in a very negative perspective the third thing that you could do is encourage your child to actually vocalize and verbalize what they good in basically to themselves right it's like they are in a way affirming and stating those positive statements to themselves so that they can also hear their own voice to themselves about the positive things that they have such as you can start a statement like i'm so happy that i am good in drawing i'm so happy that my mummy is always loving towards me i'm so happy that my parents are very affectionate towards me i'm so happy that i have a great family i'm so happy that i got a new cycle from my parents i'm so happy that i'm good in coloring so that way when they consciously you encourage them to verbalize it in the form of i'm so happy that their mind also their subconscious mind also starts to turn towards the good things in their life and the good things that they have as well so that they are not completely by you know focused only on the negative aspects of their life or the negative aspects of their personality so this is a very powerful way to shift their perspective to the good things also and the fourth which is a very important aspect is yes they have these issues suppose a child is um, having a problem with reading because that's generally the issues of you know low self esteem stems from you know for, especially for a school going child or you know a, a kindergarten child can stem from not able to make friends easily having a problem with not able to catch up with the school content you know they are not able to get the phonics they are not able to easily uh, start reading compared to other children it could be around academics also it could also be around sports like they are not able to run as fast as other children so it could be generally around these aspect not able to make friends or not able to read like other children or not you know able to be good in physical activities so what you could do is actually address these issues and build the skills so suppose a child is not good in reading I'll help your child to build those literacy skills so when you're actually working on those areas where you think the child can be improved start doing it and if a child feels that he or she is not good in running ensure that their health is better start giving them more nutritious food let them start running it's going to be a good exercise let them start running and cycling and in, start engaging in more physical activities so in a way when you start addressing these drawback areas even if they may not achieve the desired results or the outcomes immediately the fact that they are progressing in building those particular skills is enough to make them feel good about themselves and you will see that there's a gradual shift they have about themselves because yes they feel good that they are actually working on the skills that they don't feel good about 
right now they feel yes now I'm, my reading is going to get better or yes i'm bet i'm better in making friends now or i'm i'm in the i'm definitely improving in my running abilities so when they know that they are making progress that itself is enough for them to start feeling good about themselves so one is looking at their positives, enable them, them to look at the positives, addressing, telling them, give this auto suggestions about what good things they have in their own life. At the same time, actually working to improve their skill sets, such as if it's a reading skill set, improving that. If you if you feel there's a, um, to do with running or any other skill set that they need to improve, work on that. Yeah. And finally, stay consistent. Yes, stay consistent in appreciating even a small progress that they have made even if it is very minuscule or insignificant appreciate that i'm not saying go around you know um go uh, that you go out overboard in appreciating just be balanced in your, in your approach as well because if you're going to go overboard in appreciating they will start perceiving that you are being fake about it right even appreciation has to be given in the right amount not excessively and not too limited just the right amount so the child believes it the child doesn't feel that you're just trying to make him or her feel good, right? So the best way to appreciate is to tell not how great they are, but if they are actually making a progress in one activity, tell them that, yes, I'm I really appreciate that now you are paying more attention to reading or I'm, I'm really happy that you are running more, you're, you know, you are uh, getting up and cycling more. So you're actually appreciating the activity or the task or the action they're doing rather than them as a personality, right? then they will definitely believe what you say as well, what you appreciate as well. So yes, stay consistent appreciating and stay consistent in, you know, uh, helping them pivot any negative thoughts to looking at a more balanced way of thinking. And also stay consistent in encouraging them to have positive self-talk also. So these five steps will ensure over a period of time that their self-esteem also will improve. Now, if you feel this video is off, value to you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yes i do have a facebook group of empowered parenting support group you can hop in i have the link given in the description box yes please come join here where i'll be adding a lot of value in the group as well so yes until my next uh, video you have a great day and happy parenting and happy reading bye bye